Welcome to the next section of this Excel 101 course. During this section, we're going to take a look at inserting additional elements such as images into your Excel documents. Now, I do want to put another disclaimer on this section. I love images. They add a lot of visual content to your Excel documents. But I do want to stress not to go overboard on this. It can be really easy to do. You know, placing an image or two, great. But you start adding a lot of clutter inside of there, it just turns into that. It's clutter. So take a look. We're going to see how to insert images. You've got a couple different ways to do this. Just try not to take it too far as you're inserting images into your documents. So I want to insert an image. And you've got multiple ways to do this. I can insert images that are on my computer. Maybe it's a picture from a camera that I, that I have. I snapped a picture of something and now I want to throw this in there. Maybe it's a scanned image that I put into my computer. Maybe it's something I downloaded online onto my computer. Or we can go directly online and use Microsoft Bing, Microsoft search engine tool, to search for clip art images, free images, that we can download and place into our Excel documents. So take a look. This is how you insert images into your Excel document. I'm going to go up to my Insert tab, top of my screen. In the Insert tab, I got a section called Illustrations. And in there I got pictures. Pictures will allow you to grab something that's local on your machine or a network drive. Online pictures will allow you to use Microsoft Bing to search for images online. Or if you've got a OneDrive account, you can hook up to your cloud service, OneDrive through Microsoft, and grab images that you might be storing there as well. Well, for this example, this demonstration, I'm going to use Bing, the search engine tool, to find some free clip art images. So I'll click on Online Pictures. It's going to open up my, give it a moment here, Insert Pictures window. And you can see I have two options, Bing or OneDrive. Now I'm not going to use my OneDrive. I'll go to Bing. And I'm going to, I'm going to say, uh, hmm, I'll say Bills. I'm going to hit my Enter key on my keyboard. And it's going to search. It's searching online using Bing as its search engine tool. And I've got all these images that are being returned to me. Oh, the Buffalo Bills. Let's see, I'll find a good one here. A lot of Buffalo Bill images there. Let's grab, let's grab this one here. It looks like an Excel spreadsheet, right, with some bill information. So I'll click on that to select it. I'm now going to hit the Insert button, and this will drop that image into my Excel document. There it is. It's great, right? It adds a little bit to it. We don't want to get really wacky with it and put a whole bunch of images in here, but just that right there. It's a visual people can relate to it. They can tie that visual image back into the spreadsheet with all these numbers again. Now for me it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to grab one of the corners there. Just shrink it up. Let's, let's make that a little bit smaller. And you know what, I'm going to make it really small and just put it up there next to my title. And you know what, just for fun, I'm going to copy it. Control C, Control V to paste, and I'll put two of them in there. Let's put one over here as well kind of balance out the layout of this, this spreadsheet here. But inserting images. This one came from Bing search engine tool. Just insert online pictures, search for something, drop it into your Excel document. You can, you can do a little bit of formatting with it, not a lot, but you can shrink them up, you can change the size, and so on. So try this out. Insert an image. Whether you're doing online images, remember this is coming from the Insert tab, online pictures where you can use Bing, or grab something that's local on your system and go browse your computer. Whatever you do. But insert an image into your Excel document. Spice it up. Give it something more visual that the users can look at. Try it out.